our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai lovingly spoke with the Supreme Master television team on December 9, 2020, taking precious time away from her intensive meditation retreat for the world. She graciously translated from Aulaxis, also known as Vietnamese, to English stories from the book A Treasury of Jewish Folklore, compiled by Nguyen Uc. One, titled The City Guardian, was about Abraham, a venerated patriarch in Judaism and Christianity, and a venerated prophet in Islam. Abraham often pondered and talked to himself, saying thus, How much longer do we have to focus on labor work? It is really not worthy when we have to obey the, the body yeah, for any other things except the earth, because the earth produces vegetables and, and fruits, thus uh, keep us alive, yeah? Yeah, sustain us. Yes. Yeah. But we have to see the earth also needs rain, huh? Mm. If there's no rain, then, uh, oh, he say if the sky doesn't open, to allow rain to come down to the earth, then uh, the earth also cannot produce anything. So Abraham changed his mind. He was thinking that anything else, you know, uh, belongs to the physical. Uh, nothing is better, better than the earth, because the earth produces so many nutritious products to keep us alive. But then he was thinking again, no, but the earth needs rain. <laughs> So he thinks the earth is not the, the number one. <laughs> so then he's thinking, oh no, then uh, only the, the sky is worthy for us to worship, you see? Because before he was thinking, oh, everything just to take care of the body is not worthy, you know? Working, working just to earn something to eat or to survive, that's not worthy. So the earth is better. We should better concentrate to worship the earth you know, not worship the body, not take care too much of the body. And then afterward he was thinking, oh, but the earth, you know, needs a rain. <laughs> so now he thinks, if the sky doesn't allow the rain to come down, then the earth is useless. Thus now he thinks the sky is more worthy to be worshipped. Mm, right. Yes. And then he was seeing the, the sun in the sky. He was thinking, oh, no, the sun gives the whole world brightness, yeah, and brilliant uh, color, so that all the, the trees and fruits and everything can grow, yeah? Yes. yeah? And then he said, okay, then only the sun is worthy for us to worship. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? And then the sun set. <laughs> he was thinking, huh? Okay, then like that, the sun is not the, the God, you know, it's not the high spirit, that's what he meant, you know. So the sun is also not, <laughs> not worthy enough for him to worship. And then after that, Abraham was thinking, you know, he's weighing back and forth. And he saw the, the moon come out, and then many beautiful, brilliant stars in the sky, and how they brighten the dark night. Yeah. So he said, oh, you know, the moon and the stars, only them are worthy for us to worship. Uh, then uh, the, the moon disappears, you know, it does sometimes <laughs> in the night. And then he said, oh, then the moon is also not worthy enough for us to worship as God, you know, as Spirit of God. They call it uh, God, Spirit, but they mean God Almighty, yeah? Yeah. Yes. And then uh, Abraham keep looking, keep thinking, keep pondering. Master also mentioned the importance of learning about the Jewish people. The Jewish people. In my impression, uh, the much misunderstood race of beings, yeah, in the world. So maybe we should learn some things about them, so we have more ease 
yeah, between everybody and the Jewish people. Yes, Master. Our most compassionate Master, our deep gratitude for sharing your valuable time and for opening our eyes to the beauty of different religions, traditions, and peoples. The Divine has truly bestowed tremendous blessings on us all. We look forward to when we can live in harmony with each other and all cherished beings on a vegan planet. May the mighty goddesses forever protect Master to live in peace, joy, and excellent health as her noble mission reaches fulfillment in Heaven's glory. For the full broadcast of this conference with Supreme Master Ching Hai, please tune in to Between Master and Disciples at a later date.